If you're using SketchUp for interior design, it means you probably have some furniture items you need to model. So here's how to quickly create a SketchUp model of furniture from just a photo. Okay, so for this one, we're going to use this console table from Restoration Hardware. And step one, you need the furniture photo and some dimensions. So we've got those here. Now you only need one good photo, preferably from the front facing your piece of furniture and you want to save that to your desktop. Step two, create a box in SketchUp of the overall furniture dimensions with the push-pull tool. And you can use dimension entry, so type in inches or millimeters, whichever units you're working in. So we create this box. Step three, import the furniture photo. To import, you do file import to bring up the import window. And if you can't see your photo, change the file type to all supported images. So make sure your image is a JPEG or PNG preferably. And then let's open the image we saved. Now what I'm doing here is just scaling it to the right size and I've exploded it so that it becomes a material in this model. So we use the paint bucket to apply it to the face of our box. And then using the texture position tool, we can move it into place so it aligns with our overall box size. Now what you see is it looks slightly short compared to the height it should be. And we know that this is a bit too short based on the dimensions from the website. So I'm going to scale it up and draw a line that is 32 inches, which is our height. So this line is now the height that this table should be. And now I'm just going to stretch this up. So it's 32 inches. So now we know this is the right height. Step four, add openings to the furniture model. So you can see on this console table, as an example, we have um, at the bottom, we have an open frame, and then we have the space in between the legs. So I created rectangles, and then I'm just going to use the push-pull tool to push them out. So we have our openings. And now you'll see we also need to add the legs. Step five, add details so in this case the legs so i think what i'll do here is i'm going to make one leg and then create a component and then use that component for the four legs and now using the paint bucket tool i will apply the texture from our image onto all faces of this leg then right click, make component and give it a sensible name such as leg. But obviously if you're doing other furniture details such as handles or shelves, you can call them whatever you want. And I'm going to use push pull to just get rid of the bottom part of this console. And then move using the move, move tool into position and then right click flip along, which lets us flip and mirror this component so the leg is the right way round in this corner. And then we'll do the same so we have a mirror again for the right hand side of the console. So this looks good now but we need to make the opening for the frame above the legs. So I'm going to draw a rectangle using the dimension entry tool so we know that it's the right dimension from the edge. Then move it and copy it and then use the push pull tool to push out that box that we just made. And then let's repeat it on the other side. Step six is map the texture onto the other furniture sides. So using that one image that we now have as a texture, I'm going to apply it to the sides and to the top of this console table. 
and using our texture position tool, I'm going to uncheck projected and then use the texture mapping tool to move it into place. And of course, if you have other images of the piece of furniture you're modeling, like the top of a table or a cabinet, it's much easier to, to use those images instead of trying to reuse this image like I am. But if you do only have one image that's good, you can always use that and then just scale it or resize it so that it looks roughly, roughly correct for the sides of these tables. And you'll see I, I can make this a lot larger so that I can use up part of the solid wood face. And then once you've done that, something optional to do is to soften the edges. What this will do with the soften edges tool is to hide all of the visible edges lines so that it looks a bit more realistic if you're using it in a in a view or a presentation image and i'm just going to right click the model and do make component so that now we have this as a console table component and at this point it's pretty much there so to recap, here is the original photo and then here is the SketchUp model. I hope that's really useful. If it is, don't forget to give this a like and subscribe. <laughs>